Yo, 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 what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another Cuphead video. Now, this is a second take of this video. I had it done, I had it recorded. True, but not true, because I had, I, have, I had the audio recording of my mic and everything, but it didn't record the screen. I did not record it. I forgot to hit the record button. I, Jesus Christ. So, I'm going to do this again. Now, this video, I, I'm making this video because I just love this game and I just wanted to make another video. And I, I wanted to make a speedrunning video, a tips and tricks like speedrunning video. And this is also because I looked this up myself before when I was learning it and I couldn't find it on YouTube. I had to learn it myself. So, I wondered, why is it on YouTube? Well, I'm going to show you guys this one trick. Um, it's one that I had a lot of trouble with when I was learning it. It was, it's the Rivian Croaks Phase 2 Skip. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's basically a skip where as soon as, as it, Phase 2 gets rolled into, it automatically goes to Phase 3. Now, you may have seen this skip on my video, my last video, my last cup of video in the, in the full playthrough of it. Uh, it's like an hour long. Just go and skip to the Ruby and Cokes video, or the, the Ruby and Cokes uh, boss fight to see it happen. If not, just go look up a random, a random, uh, what is it? A speed, a random speed run, and it'll show you um, how it, not how it's done, but like you know how it looks like. But uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it, uh, how to do it in the video. Um, it's, the, it's 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 not that hard to pull off, but it's. But it's but it's kind of tricky to um, to have it happen repeatedly, and it takes a lot of skill to do. And I'm not saying I'm skillful. I'm just saying like it's really really difficult to get it repeatedly, and if you want it multiple times. So first, I'm gonna get I'm, I'm gonna show in this tutorial um, the mechanics to it before anything else. So I'm gonna get the alt ready from here. All right. So, this is a little scenario type thing. So, let's say, so, okay, so let's enter the fight. So, the fight starts, right? You want to have the lobber on your primary gun that starts at the fight, and then the spread shot as your secondary, right? So once the fight starts, you want to be holding down the shoot button and having this damage go in. As you're running, yeah, and you want to get close to them. Now, I, I, now I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna be referring to the frogs as Ribby and Croak. Ribby is the is the shorter frog, and Croak is Croak is the, the the taller frog. Okay, just putting it out there. Um, so, but well, once you walk towards them, you want to pull out the spread shot, and you want to get at a certain a place where Ribby and Croak are both being hit at the same time. Now what I mean by that is that Ribby and Croak actually have two different, two separate hitboxes. And and this is shown by the, the actual second phase where um, Croak turns into a fan and Ribby throws the punches at you, um, shoots the punches at you, I, I should say instead, or clap, well, yeah. Um, but they actually, you can shoot, you can shoot them both separately. But even in the first phase, they have two separate hitboxes. But in the third phase, they have one because they transform into each other. But yeah, they, in the first and second phase, they do have two separate hitboxes that you can actually hit with the spread shot. Uh, you actually have to. I'll, I'll demonstrate this in the game. But in um, when you get into the fight, you have to get close enough to them where you're hitting them both. And, the, and one way you can see this is that most people, for some reason, they don't pay attention to this. But if, if, you're, if you're hitting a boss, if you're, if you're damaging them, they actually flash white. And this is really looked into in the Calamaria boss fight, where if you shoot anywhere else but her head, she doesn't flash white. So if, so if they're both flashing white, you are golden. You're hitting them both. Okay? Now, you, now this is only... A scenario when you openly do this is if Croak um, attacks first. 
So whoever attacks first, it doesn't matter. You want to always have this ready. Shoot, 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 get close to them. It's to hit them. Now, if Ribby starts doing his attack first, if he, if he opens the attack into a croak with his, his punching, you want to get back and dodge his attacks while, while you shoot only Ribby. You do not want to be shooting the both or else you'll get damaged because he'll be slightly slower. Now, if Croak opens with the attack, you want to stay in position, hitting them both, while you fight off the fireflies above you, and do not take any damage, okay? Because in this fight, you're gonna, you 100% have to take 2 HP of damage, or 2, 2 damage, yeah, 2 HP, 2 damage to do the skip, okay? Now, once the first attack is over by either Ribby or Croak, you want to wait until the animation starts of the other uh, frog to then do this. So what you want to do is, once they start the animation of their attack, you want to keep this held down. At all times, this button is held down. Do not take your finger off this button. Okay? What you want to do is, you want to run into them, take damage one time. You, you, you're doing it twice, but you're taking damage for, um, what is it? Uh, damage a damage boost. Basically doing taking having a damage boost. You wanna take the damage, go into them, and you wanna swap alties. Okay, so you have this break shot here. You wanna alt swap alt swap alt swap alt swap. Now what this is doing it's it's dealing continuous damage. And what I mean by that is that let's say you're only using an alt, yeah? You're not doing continuous damage. You're just doing damage with your alt. Now, if you now if you do the swap as I showed, you're doing damage with the auto attack of your log. So watch. Do you see the extra log shot going? That is the continuous damage. Now, you want to do this until you get to 1 HP, and then you want to get out and, continue, and then continue your assault on them. <laughs> so, that's really what, what you want to do. Take damage two times, and you want to run all the way to the right, and once you're in there, do that. And if, you, and, and, and if you can see on the left hand side of the screen, um, you see my thing swapping, you want to look at it. So I'm on the spreadshot, swap, 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 swap. That is basically the, the technique. And once you get into the second phase, most sometimes it, you don't have to do this, but I do it all the time just in case. There's actually a glitch with the lobber. I, I wouldn't call it a glitch, but like you know, like, I, I don't know what it is, but whatever it is. Um, if you get close enough to a boss, you can downwards lobber ulti, and it actually does a lot more damage to the boss um, than usually uh, than your usual ult with the lobber like that. It does a lot more damage. I don't know what um, the reason is behind it. It's probably some te technical thing. I have no clue, but that's what it is. You want to so once you get into, this, into the second phase, you want to run straight to Croak, and you want to do this. And now you don't want to run into him, or else you'll, or else you'll take damage in the side. Because at this point, you have one HP. Um, so you want to run close enough to him that he'll do damage. That will do damage him and do this and what you're doing is you're you're, you're crouching you're, you're you're um pressing down and you're pressing off that's really it and that is basically the strategy um now i'm gonna go into the game and show you and demonstrate this in the game i'll be talking through it and i'm just saying it doesn't always happen there's all there's um it, it depends on how many times you get the downward ulti in the second phase, and it also depends how many times you ult when you're inside of them. Not inside of them, that sounds wrong, but like when you're doing them in the first phase. So, um, let's check.
So make sure shot A is the locker. Okay. Let's go. Alright, so I'm gonna open with this. And you see them both flashing white. They're both flashing white. That means I'm taking them. I'm attacking them both at the same time. And I took damage. Can you retry that? He's gonna attack, and I'm gonna dodge his attack right here. And I'm attacking the Oh! I did not get it coming. Alright, it did not work there. I don't know what that was. What I did forget to mention, and what I didn't realize until I played it out, is that Croak has to be the one to attack first. This will not work if Ribby attacks first. You, you see it happen in the video multiple times. I'll be, uh, it'll be showing, and it happened just now. You saw it. Um, Ribby cannot be the one to attack first. It has to be Croak. If Ribby does attack first, it will. you will have to play through the second phase as usual. It will not work. All right? Enjoy the rest of the video. That's all. Um, I, that's actually never happened to me before, but I'll try it again. As you can see, they're both flashing white, they're both taking damage. Alright, now I'm gonna take damage now. And I'm gonna swap, swap, swap. And I'm gonna go out, and I'm gonna finish off this phase. And I'm gonna back up a little bit. Hop over, and then boom, boom, boom. And he's there. This is the skip. I'm gonna do this again, one more time, if I get this if I get it this time. Now as you see, it really depends on how many times you get the second phase downwards lobby. That's essentially what it is. Alright, let's go. Here, swap, swap, and out. I died, but you get you you get the idea. Let's try one more time. As you see, he starts this time. Alright, for some reason, he wants to be a big man. I don't know why, but <laughs> it's really unlucky. Usually, it doesn't matter, but I guess Ruby woke up on the wrong side of the bed or something, man. I don't know what the hell is he doing. Alright, let's go. There we go. Okay, so here is the glitch I was talking about. Um, I did it too late and Croak is not turning to a fan. He and um if I had three lobbers I would have had it. Let me see if I can get it this time. It, this is the last time but I'm not gonna do that. Who's attacking? Let's try it again. Okay. This should be it. And that's it. Okay, that's not it. <laughs> the fucking Firefly man. <laughs> it's interesting. I guess I was wrong. I guess Ribby Croak has to start first. Because usually it doesn't matter, but I don't know. Okay, here. Boom, 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 and we're out. And I have three now. And I'm gonna hit him three times. And there we go. That is how you do the skip. So you need three cards to be able to do that, along with the first phase um, ultimate. And, and I believe I do three first phase ultimates, and there's three downwards ultimates with Croak.
Um, so yeah, that is how you do the skip. Um, as you saw, there's you, you can be a little too late when you're doing it. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I uh, hope you guys took something from the video and learned how to do the, the skip. If you guys want to be speedrunners, that's how you do the Ribbian Croaks uh, second phase skip. Now, if you guys want any other tips from tips and tricks from speedrunners, speed cuphead, if any any other boss that you want to see, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Comment what you guys want to see from cuphead. If you want to see more of this, um, I would love to do it. I love this game. This game is amazing. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all next time. See ya.